Hi there, my name is Amir Sark and welcome back to this WebRTC Let's Learn Together video series. In our previous video, we touched on signaling server, stun server and turn server and why we need them. We briefly mentioned that for two peers, A and B, to establish a successful connection, they need to exchange some information, that's SDP and ICE candidates. To learn more about signaling SDP ICE candidates, check out the WebRTC connectivity uh, at this link, which I shall post uh, on the description. Now, in this video, we're not going to create any servers. We're going to try and do the exchange of SDP and ICE candidate, at least one, manually. Before we jump to code, let's see what the finished product is going to look like. These are two browsers, two peers, exchanging video streams. You see this one, this video is local here. It's remote on the other browser. This video is local here. It's remote on the other browser. So at the end of this session, this is what we are going to achieve. Now, let's jump to code. Now, this is where we left off in the last video. Um, we managed to get to use get user media to capture the video from the webcam and display it on a video element on the browser. Let me do some cleanup. We will need a video tag for the remote video, but first let's create a ref for it. Let us now add the video tag for the remote video. Uh, but first, let me just do some rearrangements here to make it easy to read. And then I'm going to just add some style. Uh, I'll do a width of 40 and height of 240 just add a margin of 5 and uh, background color make it black Now we can just go ahead and copy this video tag and reuse it. And let's change the ref to be the remote video ref. Now let's add some buttons that we're going to use uh, for the manual exchange of SDP and ICE candidates. Of course, we're using this just for demonstration. Now let's implement the component did mount method and move this in there. So we'll do it here. Component did mount. And just paste those in there, and the application should work as it was before. We need to instantiate a new RTC peer connection for establishing the connection between the two peers. Um, let's do that here.
in order to instantiate a new RTCP connection object, we are required to pass in a configuration object of type RTC configuration. However, for this demo, we're just going to use null. Here is an example of the configuration object. Let's replace the null with the constant PC config. Let's now add some events for our peer connection. And since we're going to do this manually, let's just print it to the console. I'm getting an error here. It says e is not defined. Okay, so I need to add the event e there. Now everything is okay. Now let's add the on add stream event. And um, when we receive a stream, we want to assign it to the remote video We also need to add our local stream to the peer connection object. So we add that string. We'll notice that we are calling some methods when clicking on these buttons. So we have to create these methods. Let's just go ahead and do that. So what we are doing here is we're using uh, our peer connection to create an offer and if the creation of the offer is successful it will return an SDP and we set the SDP as the local description. We also log it to the console so that we can easily copy it and set it onto the other peer as the remote description as we shall see. Once we have the description, the SDP, we will copy it and on the other peer we're going to click this button to set the SDP as the remote description. So we create this method uh, basically, when we paste it on, on the other peer, we can get the value from the text area and then we set the remote PC its remote description. After setting the remote description, we will need to create an answer which is triggered by this button here and here's the method and basically we just call the create answer of the peer connection and if successful it will return an SDP which in turn will set this as a local description 
for this peer connection and we're going to print it out on console and then copy it and go back to the previous peer and set it as a remote description finally let's add the method for adding candidate which is triggered by pressing this button of course we will need to copy the at least one candidate that will work so basically we're just using the same text text area to copy and paste the values and um, adding the ice candidate let's now test our application I have two browsers open accessing the same application um, fresh this one go ahead and change the webcam I have two webcams connected so I'll change it to that and I'll refresh the other one so that's the other camera let's open the dev tools for each of the browsers and from this side let's create an offer you can see here it prints out the SDP so we'll just copy the SDP information and I'll go ahead and paste it on the other peer acting as a remote peer and I'll set remote description with this SDP and then the next step is I'll create an answer it does the same thing it creates spits out the SDP description I'll copy that and I'll go ahead and paste it on the first peer and set the remote description to that of the remote peer done notice that we also have ice candidates printed out on both sides you can see um, for this demo picking anyone at least you know the one of these with uh, IPv4 should work you can see there is IPv6 uh, candidates so I just pick this one let's see what happens take it to the other side paste it there and then add candidate and voila we have two peers communicating now this test was on two browsers on the same computer as you can see here and I'm using localhost on port 3000 and of course uh, with localhost WebRTC works but the moment you use let's say an IP address then that has to be served via HTTPS and Grok comes to the rescue so this is ngrok you can go to ngrok.com and uh, can follow the instructions to install and basically we'll be, a, we'll be able to use the HTTPS kind of tunneling.
I've already installed Ngrok um, before I start Ngrok I'm going to close um, these ones I'm going to refresh this peer now I have another computer on the same LAN um, which you can see it's a Windows 10 computer and um, let me close appear to in I will now start Ngrok and um, it gives me this uh, URL HTTPS I'm going to copy that and I will paste it on the other computer as well as on this computer as you can see it's now asked me to allow access to the camera so that's my other computer over there in case you're wondering I'm connected via RDP to the Windows computer so now I'm going to follow the same process as I did before um, go to console okay so I'm going to offer from the other computer and copy the offer come to this side this computer paste the offer SDP and then generate the answer and you know the process so I'll do it and get back when I'm done and there we go This is it for this session. Thank you very much. I hope it was useful. And I'll be looking forward to doing the next video. Bye.